For the last 25 years, a quarter of a century, I've dedicated myself inside a courtroom. Half the time as a trial lawyer, whether I was an assistant district attorney, which is a prosecutor, or private counsel, defense attorney. I also served on the bench. This is my 15th year. The Supreme Court sits six times a year, two weeks in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Harrisburg. And its job is to review the record of what transpired in a trial room. Who better than a trial lawyer and a trial judge should sit and review the transcripts and listen to the arguments of counsel to determine whether the opinion of the lower court should stand or not? I'm the longest serving administrative judge in the Philadelphia court system, possibly in the Commonwealth. Nine and a half years in the family court system and I've received the good fortune of serving as the administrative judge or top judge in the Court of Common Pleas trial division. Unfortunately, judicial elections are always the lowest voter turnout, yet people don't understand the significance or the magnitude of the court. First and foremost, when you're electing a judge, you're electing us for 10 years with a yes or no vote thereafter. So in essence, you've elected us for life. And as I often shared, when you elect a judge, you're giving them a pen, and with that pen they can take your child in a custody case. They have the authority to take your home in a mortgage foreclosure case. They could take your freedom in a criminal case. Yet most people don't understand or know a judge until they stand before one, and then it's a little late. If that pen is given to the wrong individual, the last place to try to right a wrong is the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. So I'm hoping people understand that you need individuals who have the experience, the intellect, the capacity, and the integrity to get up there. And I'm hoping that my message has resonated with the average Pennsylvanian.